Yo, what's happening guys? It's Chris. I know it's been a while, but I've got some awesome products lined up the next few weeks to show you guys and install on the WRX. First thing up is sound skins. Going to be doing some stuff on the doors. These are pre-cut template door kits. These guys have awesome craftsmanship. They basically pre-cut your template for your door, stamp it all out, and send you to pre-rolled in this. You've got your front doors and your rear doors all ready to go. Takes the hard work away. All you gotta do is remove your door cards, throw these on, and you're good to go. Cut, elim eliminate that extra road noise, which is super annoying. So just wanna say shout out to SoundScans for hooking me up on a partial sponsorship. You guys are rock, I really appreciate that. Let's open one of these up and see what we got, guys, all right? So right off the bat, when I look at this, that's just kind of like you look at, you see the inside of a door, that looks like that's the interior, like inside against the door. And then this is gonna replace that vapor shield right here. So you'll get four of these in one box, just ready to go. Everything's labeled, this is FD, so front door. That's what I wanna start with. Ooh. Look at that. More labeling, sweet. Here's what I'm talking about, guys. Let me pull this back. Basically, I'm gonna just follow this little puzzle piece, show you guys how to open up those inside doors, and we're gonna get this installed today. So what you wanna do is open your door. And yes, my door is dirty. I kick my door open, I have that bad habit. On a side note, Japan Parts has a carbon piece that goes right here. Like it's full carbon fiber, but it's like 120 bucks, but it's it's for all front and rear doors, which I think is something I might invest in because I kick my doors all the time, getting mud all over there. So first thing you wanna look for down in there, I'm gonna pop this door open and we're gonna pop that door open and there should be some Phillips and we're gonna undo those to take out the door card. Okay guys, once you knock these two Phillips screws out, just set them aside, get yourself a pry bar, and you wanna start in this corner. It's just a bunch of pop clips. Don't be afraid of them. Just like that, it's off. And I've got maybe one or two clips that are stuck in there, so I'll have to pull those out real quick. To completely remove the door card, first thing, you got your three electronic clips here, these white ones. Undo those first and then I'll show you how to get this door piece off. So next thing on the inside of the door here, just look down and undo these two Phillips. It's like the whole mechanism. Once you undo that, this plastic piece comes up and then your whole mechanism just slides right out. And now you can remove your door. So pop these little Pop these out, it's a lot easier than it seems, guys. Just gonna pull up, and then it's loose, whoop. And you'll be able to slide it out like that. So just do that to both those real quick. Just remove it completely. Just set that aside. And here's what we have on the 2018 interior. Got this one piece, <laughs> it's a little piece of foam that a bunch of this foam tape everywhere foam here foam there try to cut down on all that rattling foam here for the speaker all right next step is you're gonna want to undo this like vapor barrier pretty sure I need to undo this piece here so it's just one Phillips or two There we go. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm gonna reuse any of this, these pieces again, maybe. I might not need to at all with the new sound scan stuff, so. This is what the factory's doors have for sound ending. One piece there, another piece down there. That's it, otherwise, just a hollow mess. And that's why the road noise is so atrocious on these things. 
So let's look at the inside door kit first. Okay, so I'm just looking at the manual. Kind of laid it out the way that shows the layout, the inner piece. So I'm going to take this a piece over there at a time and kind of mock it up. Be sure you prep the inside of the door and this outside area all with alcohol just to ensure to get a good stick. Okay, the first piece I'm just going to start with is this piece here. So I'm just looking for that shape. And you can see it's, it's going to go around the handle piece so when you slide it in. It's perfect. And it's just going to snug right up to it. Look at that. Lined up perfect. So I'm just going to line up a few of these pieces. Follow the template, which you can't get lost. Everything's pre-cut. So I'm just gonna go with the next piece and just stick them on one by one. Okay, all in all, that took me about seven minutes. Just kind of laid in there, took my time. Next thing, where's my roller? Here it is. Gonna want this roller little ball one and let me just show you how everything's in there look at that perfect full coverage sick guys like this oh, it's gonna sound amazing probably gonna make my my speaker sound better too because I'm gonna kind of lower my the noise level of everything coming through there so the speaker is definitely be louder maybe a little more mid and bass so I'm gonna roll this up real quick and then we'll move on to the outer door here. So I'm just test fitting this here. This is my first time going at this. I had to undo these clips here on this harness. And the next thing is I'm gonna do that one and unplug the window motor down there, that gray plastic clip here, unplug that. So this harness is completely free and out of the way. Okay, let me show you this. This is a little clip around there that you just want to pop this off. And then you can see that clip. So I'm going to focus on pulling that clip out with some pliers and a screwdriver. Let's take it off carefully and then I can reroute that wire all around. Okay, mine got a bit mangled just because it's the first time I did it. The other side will be easier. So once that's out from there, you're gonna see that it's just kind of clipped in there and then one more time down there that'll loosen this whole cable assembly free from the door there's like just one more here on the right there just pinch them and push it through <laughs> and there's one more thing here uh 10 mil here to loosen this clip because i couldn't reach it you'll see this wise off right there i couldn't reach this clip to unclip it so i'm gonna i think undo it here and pull it all out Next little fun piece, I'm just running through that first hole, door locks. Everything else kind of just comes through, one through there. This right here, I noticed, just the one thing kind of bothering me, so what I'm gonna end up doing is just cutting a line here to kind of fit it in, and then I'm gonna get the rest figured out. What I'm gonna do is plug everything back in door one if you have the limited you'll have this if you don't you're lucky that one that's right down here you're gonna run all these wires plug them back up together speaker and then we're gonna just line the clips up and i'm gonna take my time and peel this off maybe in two pieces and then just stick it on you can watch me do it i think i'm gonna just put some electrical tape where all the pop clips go. So those holes and kind of just punch a little hole in them with a screwdriver because that'll kind of keep any excess rattling and helps a much more snug fit. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Before I put it all up, I just wanna make sure everything works. Locks work. Honestly guys, I just had to cut a few holes one here, like in this square, kind of jacked that up looking for this hole, but it was right there. 
And then there was one more right here that I had to cut. Just three holes that weren't in the template. And that is for the limited, because I have the electronic handles. Like when I come up, I just touch my handle and it unlocks. Like I don't need my keys or anything. Like there's, there's a button. See these two lines? I just put my thumb there and my door unlocks. And that's what that is for. So they might not have, might not have had that in their template. It might be something newer. So it's set. I'm gonna just put this door card on and check it out. Let's do a quick sound test here. Passenger door, it's not done yet. The floor. All right, passenger side starts just the same. I'm gonna pop these little doors open. One, and then this one down here. Two, and then pop those Phillips out. Already the rear doors look like they're gonna be a lot easier. It's just the door handle and one wire here. So I'm gonna unclip those real quick. Same exact thing and then remove the card, take off the vapor shield, and clean it up. Okay, so I'm gonna remove the vapor shield. So we're gonna move this two Phillips here that hold the door card on. I'm gonna do that blue clip, and this whole thing should slide out, maybe even pull this one out too. Here, door kit for there. Driver side, so you have the pre-cut one that goes on right before the door card. And then this is the interior one. That's the pattern and shape it's gonna go in. And I'll show you that right now. Something else I did was I added a ring on the inside here. Just a small little, maybe not even an inch around the, in the inside. And then on the woofer itself, I put some here where it mounts up, and I'm gonna just plug some holes in there real quick. I just don't want any vibration coming from the speakers. I wanna get the best sound possible also. And just to show you all again, this is just laughable how much sound ending Subaru actually puts into this one piece, this whole door. All right, so this first bottom piece, it's gonna go in just like that, there, behind the woofer, so. down. Perfect. That's there. This next large one goes there. And it has this, it has this little cutout for this corner too, which you'll see when you actually get it in there. And the next one right up top. Sweet. So that's the inside. I'm just gonna roll it down real quick and then we'll focus on this outside piece. So this is how we're gonna do this side. Top hole is for this one that's gonna plug in there door handle and just this comes out the bottom hole. I'm going to kind of go over everything else because this door is a little simpler and I don't have to route everything like I did the front. This might even be a learning experience for the next front one I do. And then you just leave these two holes here for the mounting piece that holds the dark door card on. That's it. So go ahead and watch me peel this up and get it done.
Next up, I'm going to do a little tape trick again around the pop clip holes. So that's how it is. You just have electrical tape where all the pop clips go and then just punch a hole through it. And we're ready to go. It was looking clean. Let's go get the door card and get it installed. Okay. So much better. And already, it's like a huge difference. I was playing my stereo, it sounds way better. The doors don't sound as like tinny. Check this out. Let me flip this around and show you guys what's going on. What we working with here. So this is the rear door. If you guys have ever taken off your rear door, you have a vapor shield on here, which is just this stupid piece of plastic that Subaru thinks is a legit vapor shield with a piece of foam on it. That's your sound deadening. That's it, guys. That's why these things sound terrible on the highway. All right, this is absolutely hilarious. Look at this stock sound deadening, guys. First of all, wait, where is it? Oh, there is none, that's right. So if you look actually right under here, there's this one square and this other square. That's it. That's, that's the only thing keeping that road noise from entering the cab, and that's why these cars are so damn loud inside. Obnoxious, once you get your exhaust on there too, it's really obnoxious. Crazy drone. I just put uh, some of that foam all around on the inside here. And then again on the back side of the speakers where they mount up. Pretty easy. It's gonna make this car a lot quieter with not much added weight. Probably just get a lightweight battery and offset the 15 pounds I'm adding. But for all your doors, it's freaking sick. And I'm, I'm gonna do like a decibel meter reading test later. I got one of those decibel reader things on my thumb. It's just a stupid app. I don't have a legit one, but the app is good enough because I took a reading beforehand, which is crazy. It was like off the scale, like 90, 90 decibels, which is freaking high, guys. That's super loud for a car like this. It's just so beautiful how this stuff winds up in there. You don't have to worry about it. This is a really easy job to do too if you guys are ever like, oh, I'm scared to take my freaking door apart. Uh, it's not bad. I've got it all done. Just about this little last front door. A little bit something different on this front door. Uh, this is all the same. Look at these napkins. Napkins. They're just, just napkins. <laughs> Seriously, it's pretty hilarious. Guys, thank you so much for joining today. Shout out again to SoundScans. This is an awesome mod. I think this is gonna be great. I can't wait to get on the road. Uh, do some funny decibel tests with one of these apps I got. Anyways guys, please drop a comment down below. Please subscribe, really appreciate that. And I'll catch you next week. I got some more cool mods coming up and some awesome power mods on the way. Till next time, peace out, see you there. Nothing will stand in our way. This party's over.